so the next group of anti hyperlipidemic drugs what we have is the bile acid binding resins now if you take the drugs in this particular group they include cholesteramine and then we have cholestipol and then we have cholecevalum right so these are the group of the bile acid resins that is cholesteramine cholestipol and as well as cholecevalum what these particular drugs do right if you see the mechanism of action of these particular drugs the mechanism is there within the name of the group itself all right so remember these particular drugs they will go and bind with the bile acids in the intestinal lumen all right so what these drugs will do they will bind with the bile acids present in the intestinal lumen right they will bind with the bile acids which are present within the intestinal lumen so once they bind with the bile acids which are present within the intestinal lumen these drugs they will decrease the absorption of the bile acids right they will decrease the absorption of bile acids right these drugs they will decrease the absorption of bile acids all right now so once the bile acid absorption is being decreased what will happen the bile acid content in the plasma will be reduced all right so there are two things which will happen there is decrease in the bile acid content within the plasma whereas there is increased bile acid excretion in the feces right there is increased bile acid excretion within the feces now now you take this particular bile acids bile acid content in the plasma is reduced now where are these bile acids synthesized from these bile acids they are synthesized from cholesterol right bile acids they are synthesized from the cholesterol so once the bile acid content in the plasma is reduced whatever the cholesterol pool which is present within the liver right whatever the cholesterol pool which is present in the liver it is being converted into bile acids it is being converted into bile acids why because the bile acids which have to be absorbed at the level of the intestinal lumen they are not being absorbed because of these particular drugs so the bile acid content in the plasma is reduced so but bile acids are very much required for our body's fat metabolism so in the liver whatever the cholesterol is there that is being completely converted into the bile acids all right so thereby the resultant effect right the resultant effect is the cholesterol content will be reduced right the resultant effect is the cholesterol content in the liver will be reduced now what does the liver will do liver will acquire the cholesterol from the plasma by increasing the ldl receptors all right so whatever the cholesterol is there in the liver that is being converted into bile acids so cholesterol content in the liver will be reduced so what the liver will do right liver it will acquire the cholesterol right it will acquire the cholesterol from the plasma by increasing the ldl receptors by increasing the ldl receptors what will happen once the ldl receptors are increased on the liver remember once the ldl receptors are increased on the liver they will cause the reabsorption of cholesterol into the liver all right next the other important point you should remember about this particular bile acids is bile acids if they are present all right bile acids if they are present 
what the bile acids will do is bile acids will inhibit the triglycerides the property of the bile acids is they will inhibit the triglyceride production in the liver right they will inhibit the triglyceride production within the liver now what is happening whenever you are giving these drugs whenever you are giving these drugs the bile acid content is reduced so when bile acid content is reduced do you think that can they inhibit the triglyceride production no right so whenever you are giving these drugs the bile acid content is reduced so when bile acid content is reduced the inhibition of triglyceride production does not occur and thereby whenever you are giving these particular drugs what they will do they will increase the triglyceride content they will increase the triglyceride content bile acid binding resins they will only reduce the cholesterol content they will not reduce the triglyceride content in fact they will increase the triglyceride content now you see the important point now because they will reduce only cholesterol but they are increasing the triglycerides the bile acid binding resins they are used only for type 2a hyperlipoproteinemia all right so this bile acid resins they are useful for only type 2a hyperlipoproteinemia why because in case of type 2a hyperlipoproteinemia triglycerides are normal in this condition so that is the reason why we use these particular bile acid resins only in case of type 2a hyperlipoproteinemia now you take these three drugs we have cholesteramine we have cholestipol and we have colecelebum cholesteramine and as well as cholestipol these two they are available as sachets right these two they are available as sachets now sachets in the sense they have to be mixed with water kept for some time and then taken with meals all right so these sachets they are mixed with water kept for some time and then they have to be taken along with the meals whereas you take this colecelebum this colecelebum this is being available in the form of tablet right this is being available in the form of tablet now because this is being available in the form of tablet it has better patient compliance right it has better patient compliance all right now you take the adverse effects of these particular the bile acid binding resins the adverse effects the major adverse effects with this particular bile acid binding resins is constipation is constipation constipation is the major adverse effects of these particular drugs i'll repeat again the bile acid binding resins they include cholesteramine cholestipol and as well as colecelebum what these drugs do they will bind with bile acids right and they will inhibit the absorption of the bile acids all right where exactly within the intestinal lumen so thereby what will be the effect there is decrease in the bile acid content in the plasma increase in the bile acid content within the feces now what is the problem due to that remember the bile acids they are very much required or this particular bile acids they are synthesized from the cholesterol now once the plasma bile acid content is reduced excess amount of cholesterol is utilized for the synthesis of the bile acids so thereby the final effect is the cholesterol content will be reduced but however the liver will try to increase the cholesterol levels in the liver by increasing the ldl receptors so thereby the cholesterol content in the plasma will be reduced the another property of the bile acids is bile acids they will inhibit the triglyceride production within the liver now because of these particular drugs the bile acid content is reduced so once the bile acid content is reduced 
they will not inhibit the triglyceride production and thereby they will increase the triglyceride synthesis all right so that is the reason why these are used only in case of type 2a hyperlipoproteinemia where there is only hypercholesterolemia but triglyceride content are normal and you take this cholesteramine and as well as cholestipol they are available in the form of sachets and they have to be mixed up with water kept for some time and they are taken along with meals whereas cholecebalum it is available in the form of tablet formulation so that is the reason why the patient complaints is more with this cholecebalum whereas if you take the adverse effects of these particular bile acid binding resins the major adverse effect is constipation so this is about your bile acid binding resins